Hi Leo, welcome to Gemstone Tarot and this is your January 2017 mid-month reading and thank you Leo for all your likes, shares and subscribes. You are one of my highest viewers and also you leave loads of comments and do lots of likes and shares. So this is Valentine in the background, he's decided she wants to be in the whole video this time unless she runs off. Doing something a little bit experimental this time. I'm trying some new decks that I got for Christmas. So I'm doing one Rider Waite Tarot Major Arcana card, one, uh, have I got the box? Crazy Sexy Love Notes by Chris Carr, and one Healing with the Angels by Doreen Virtue, a Romance Angel Oracle card for your love life or Energies in Love from uh, the Romance Angel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. And then finally I'm doing Spirit Cats, which is a little bit crazy but pretty cool cards. These are by Nicole PR and they're crowdfunded cards. That's definitely yours. And they're quite cool. I could try not to go too crazy. Um, on the cat stuff but my sister bought me those for Christmas and they're just really good fun and actually in the readings that I've done so far they've come out with some quite insightful stuff so let's take one of those and these ones by Chris Carr the crazy sexy love notes are just the most gorgeous colours and they really cheer you up. Okay, two came out for that one so I'll have them both. Angel Oracle card, it wants that one. Do you want to choose this one Valentine? Do you want to choose a kitty card? You'll never make a tarot reader. <laughs> oh, that one. Right, cool. Let's have a look, Leo. So, Major Arcana, we have the Hanged Man in the reverse. I have real trouble with this card because obviously it's upside down, so when it's reversed, can never tell but that is in the reverse so you have the hanged man in the reverse i quite like him when he's in the reverse actually I like him more than when he's um in the upright and here we have trust this situation is calling for you to have faith Sexy love notes. We've got breathe deeply and confidence. Those are really nice cards, aren't they? I love peacocks as well. And then for your angel healing card, focus. And then finally we have night magic. Vespertine. Is pretty gorgeous as well. Okay, looking at this as a whole, Leo, seems like you're in a time of stasis or you're not able to act one way or the other on something. And that's probably the right idea because you're gathering, you're gathering your resources and you're gathering energies and it wouldn't be the right time to act now if you did. With the hangman in reverse, the hangman, if you can see here, he's not actually literally being hanged as in hanged. He's peaceful and he's choosing to spend that time. He's in quite a yogic position. And can you see he's got a halo of wisdom around his head he is gathering wisdom in that position. He's taking time out to do that as well. 
and when he comes out of this state he will have what he needs to move forward just like you will Leo but for the moment that's in reverse so you may be resisting that I mean you are a fire sign and chances are that you want to rev straight ahead and get on with things but this isn't the time to do it in terms of your Romance Angel Oracles card, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Now this will resonate differently for different people. I'm going to have a look and see if there's anything in the book. But the inclination that I'm getting from this is that it may not be the case. I'm not getting the vibe, to be honest, that somebody is doing you wrong and that, you need, that you've got trust issues. I'm not getting that vibe. I'm getting much more of you healing yourself in order to be able to trust at all, is what I'm getting. So Doreen Virtue is saying that this is the angels asking you to trust that everything is exactly as it needs to be. And to not fear the situation because that will always create a cycle of more negativity and that you need to release those fears to the angels. Now, you don't have to always release your fear to the angels. Some people aren't into angel things. Some people are. But you can release your fears to yourself. You know what those anxieties are. And they're not really taking you anywhere at the moment. It says here, your, pleasant, your present situation is here to bring blessings and personal growth. So whatever's going on for you, and I can feel that something quite deep is going on for you, Leo, this is going to lead, it says here, to the beautiful romantic love that you so deeply deserve and desire. As you follow the pathway you're currently on, trust it's leading you in the right direction. So again, trust. Your faith uplifts your energy, which in turn attracts positive experiences and people, including a romantic partner. This truly is a situation where all things are possible. So actually, that is a great card, Leo, and, but you're maybe not feeling like that at the moment. Spend some time with the hanged man. Spend some time metaphorically upside down. Um, you can't get much done when you're upside down. Nobody's going to bother you too much, you know. Switch off your phone. Spend some time alone, out walking. Take the dog out for a walk, whatever it is for you. And again, with these two cards, breathe deeply in confidence. It says here to breathe big and let it all in. Who cares if your jeans feel too tight? Whose jeans don't feel too tight in January? <laughs> Here's an idea, buy a bigger pair of jeans. Deep, full breaths. They release sadness and allow ecstasy to flood in. You know when you do a big, I don't know if you, most people don't get time, but if you do a big deep breath, sometimes you feel your shoulders drop about half a mile and your stomach and your rib cage really expand. I know I do and I think, God, I haven't actually breathed in and out properly all day, maybe for 24 hours or two or three days. Exhale and remember when the going gets tough, take a deep breath and trust. Again, trust that you are capable of greatness. And here, confidence. Amazing peacock and a brilliant symbol for Leo as well. It says it takes courage to put your butt on the line and go for it. The best way to strengthen your confidence, put yourself out there and don't care what other people think. Don't worry about making mistakes and you'll never grow unless you try new things. The more you do, the more confident you'll become. And when you shine, you will inspire other people to do the same thing. So these cards, they do all go together well. I know if you're wanting a timeline for things moving on and things to be happening, you're going to be quite frustrated. Again, spend time in the state of the hanged man to try and let that impatience flow through you, Leo, because there is divine timing at work. You don't... Things don't necessarily happen in a linear way and when you want them to. I know we can all sometimes get very focused on it being the new year as well and you suddenly expect new things to start happening but you still carry over old energies 
from the last year and the last year and the year before that. But what you need to do is just jettison some of the negativity and the fear that's come from the past. Again, that's about the trust. So focus. I have, I'm going to look in the book and see, but I have a feeling with this. Two things really, Leo, for you when it comes to focus. I feel that this trust issue and the healing will require a great deal of your focus that you may not feel. You know, when you feel it's all flitting everywhere and you're really stressed. Get into that breathing state. That will help you to literally focus on the truth of the situation. And then I also feel in terms of you and your, I don't know if it's a business or a project or something you feel very deeply about, you need to focus on that. I don't know why you're not focusing on that. I don't know what's distracting you and it may be feelings of inadequacy and that's what the trust is all about. I feel that you need to really believe in yourself and focus on that. See what this says. Sometimes it seems our thoughts choose us, but that's not the case. We choose our thoughts. Our thoughts always have an effect and there are no neutral thoughts. This is the thoughts become things mentality, isn't it? One half second before you hold a thought, you decide to hold it. With practice, you can learn to monitor and alter your thoughts. This is the equivalent of putting your hands back on the steering wheel to control your life. You may believe your concentration abilities are impaired, yet the infallible mind of God is within your own mind. You can experience remarkable feats of concentration by affirming, I am now able to focus my mind at will. I hold only loving thoughts and my angels act as gatekeepers in establishing a steady stream of thoughts of love. And again, in this state of the hanged man, breathing deeply, confidence and trust and focus all these things can come to you leo they're all in there already i feel that you know that you know these things are already inside waiting to come to fruition as they certainly will later in the year but when they do you will have done this deep work to be ready now the crazy cat card <laughs> This is Vespertine, no sleep for the wild. A swirl of creativity and nighttime escapades, nocturnal playfulness and mystery. Going out at night is not for the young, not only for the young. Night magic is for everyone. Explore the night, go dancing or walk under the stars, gather with your friends and talk into the wee hours. Sing and play music under moonlight. Stay up to watch a meteor shower or a lunar eclipse. See the sunrise while the world sleeps. Watch your perspective expand and shift. You will have more energy than you believe. So maybe, Leo, if you want these quiet times, and obviously, provided it's safe, because, you know, walking out at night, you need to watch yourself, go with someone else. This hangman time might be most valuable to you at night. And that can even be leaving the curtains open so that you can see the moon through the window or spending time just looking through the window at the sky at night or going out for a walk with a friend at night. There is, I know lots of cultures have considered that magic can happen more in the night than it can in the day and also more of your deeper feelings come to fruition at night. But I do also, um, and I have to say this, I do have very, very strong feelings from your cards, Leo. Not for this reading, but for the future. It feels very significant. It feels like there are irons in the fire for you that are really going to come to something in 2017. It feels exciting, makes my heart race when I'm feeling these cards, but I don't know what it is. I mean, obviously, this is a general reading. I'm reading for lots of different people. But it just feels very, very powerful. I don't know if you can look up some of the 
spirit animals for peacock. I feel that that's a big deal for you. I don't know much about that. I intend to find out more about it, but I feel that is a significant animal for you. I don't know if a peacock is bird or animal, whatever they call it, but that showing of the feathers and all the eyes, I feel that's very significant for you. So that's what I've got for you for mid-January, Leo, and good luck with all that. Very powerful stuff. Do like, share and subscribe and leave me a comment about what this is about if you can. I love to read your comments and look forward to seeing you soon. Cheers.